This video will give you an overview of the features you'll need to get started with Qflow. The first thing you need to do in Qflow is create an event. You can do this by clicking on Create Event in the top menu. You'll need to add a name and the start and end times. Next, you'll want to add some guests. You can do this individually, or you can import a list of guests from a spreadsheet or CSV file. You can also import guests from Eventbrite, Facebook or Mailchimp. If you import the same types of data frequently, you can save this, so the import is much quicker next time round. Let's import some guests now. There's another video to show you how to import guests in detail. You'll notice we've been asked to name our import. This is called tagging. Tagging is grouping guests together by shared or common information such as company name or their status such as VIP. This gives you really in-depth statistics during and after your event. We're going to name this guest lists. Now we're going to import our guests and go back to the event page. We can actually search for our guests on the web control panel by their name, barcode or tags. We can also get quick statistics for the event by using the filter section at the top of the page. Although we can check in guests on the web control panel, it makes much more sense to use the app to do this. As well as checking in guests by their name, you can also scan their barcode. If you're using Qflow's invite feature, we'll automatically generate the barcode for you. This has been a brief overview of the features to get started with Qflow. For more in-depth videos, check out our YouTube channel or look at your web dashboard.